Look, in my day, we took the rough with the smooth and we drove ourselves apart. Oh, you kids, you, you go. got it so Here easy. Go. I was a hot shot success. No, Why no, are you risking? I didn't That's say what really that. gets to you, isn't it? Malcolm, I'm not as good as you. I'm not making the Dr. Kennedy grave. I did not say that. And you know I'm, I'm so terribly sorry. I'm disappointed. I'm not going to... The Bella. Remember, you said you'd help me? We're on environment day. Yeah, that's tomorrow, though, isn't it? Make it up tomorrow. Good. Make it tonight. He's gone and signed up for something called Druidic Light. What? But druids? It must be some weird religious cult. What's going on? Are you sure it's a religious cult? Druidic Light. That's what she said. Have you heard of them? No, but um, you better keep an eye on him, Mum. Sounds like you might be cutting up the bed sheets to make ceremonial work. It's hardly a laughing matter, Elizabeth. Well, surely you can't be too involved. If he's involved at all, we would have noticed something. I hate to say this, but it makes sense the way he's been behaving of late. Oh, well, I certainly haven't noticed him wandering around the backyard banging oh, come at Come on, that's enough. It all fits. The restlessness, the sudden loss of interest in study. Oh, hasn't been sudden, really. I know these cults. Malcolm would have been an easy target. Dad, you don't even know that these druidic whatevers are even a cult. Oh, believe me, the woman on that phone was a religious fanatic of some description. No, no, this has got to be a misunderstanding. Malcolm is not the type. No, but there is no type as such. Except the people who get seduced by these cults are invariably are young and they see themselves as misfits. Being a misfit's never caused him any problems in the past. Where are you going? Coffee shop. I'm going to sort this out. Oh, Carl, can't you wait till he's finished his shift? I don't think there's any time to waste. Malcolm needs to know we're there for him before these wackos get a firm hold of him. I just wanted you to know how sorry I am, Mal. And I've been putting some pressure on you and, well, possibly there have been times when I haven't been there for you, but when you've needed me. Don't, look, there is no problem. There is a problem, Mal. I know that now. Yeah, well, there might have been a problem, but look, can we deal with it later, please? Look, later is fine. I just needed you to know that I'm listening. Dad, why did you come here? I mean, why right now? What's going on? Druidic light. Excuse me? Mal, I had a call. Admittedly, I didn't get very much time to explain themselves, but I got a fair idea what the deal is. So. Mate, I'm worried. Uh, excuse me, I'm not really with you on this one. It's all right, I understand. You're not the first young person to get seduced by one of these cults. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Look, that you are so far wide of the mark, it's just not funny. It's okay, it's okay. I know how it is. I was expecting a denial. Shoot. Oh. Yeah, well, Dad, listen, if it makes you feel happier to think some yes, yes, I have joined a cult, all right? Good. Admitting to it is the first step on the road to recovery. Who needs recovery tonight? Oh, my first life sacrifice. I'm really hanging out for it. Now, if you don't mind, Father, I've got a lot of work to do. So, excuse me. I just thought you might like to know that she seems to be settling in quite well. Oh, good, that's great. Yeah, I was concerned that there might be a problem with the girls, but they seem quite happy to have Melissa stay. And you don't mind? You sure? Mm. Only too happy to help out. It's really no different from emergency care. Yeah, knowing that it's only for a short time would help too. Now, I was wondering about that. Is it only for a short time? I mean, how difficult are things between her and her parents? At the moment, very. So there may not be a resolution? Oh, I think so. Once the Drents can look at the whole thing logically. You think they're capable of doing that? Yeah, I'd say so. In spite of this one extremely illogical view they have about a gay teacher, I believe that they really love Melissa and they care about her education. It must be difficult for her, having all this happen in the middle of year 11. Oh, imagine how much more difficult it would be to start a new school at this stage. I'm counting on the Drent seeing that eventually. Well, in the meantime, all we can do is keep a semblance of normality for her. Mm, thanks, Phil. It's about the best thing anyone can do for her. In fact, we could all use a bit of that, couldn't we? <laughs>